Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel if you've been subscribing and watching my videos, which is awesome. Road to 500, let's go. <laughs> but anyways, I hope your week is good. I hope you're doing good. I'm doing kind of right, a bit on the sickish side. You kind of feel when it's coming. And then yeah, it's coming in my case. But anyways, that aside, I was like, I gotta pull it through and get this hole going. So as you guessed it, this is another day another whole video nothing crazy just a couple a uh, couple packages that i received so one is from ebay one is from citizen brick and this is from brookizima which is aka pretty much usually brookmania so without further ado let's go ahead and get into the unboxing and see what kind of goodies i got this week as i said this is from ebay let's go ahead and pop this box open really really tightly like wrapped and sealed great packaging but Unboxing gonna be pain in the butt. Just gonna tear right through it. Let's go. Right through it. Yo, this is Harry Potter stuff right here. But yeah, no, this is not Harry Potter. I think they just used the box. And I know exactly what it is. And this is from the Stranger Things. And what I want to do is to get the police truck or police car, whatever you call it, from this. Yeah, from set 75810. And there's a. Uh, Sell on eBay was selling separately, and then you can get the minifigure as well. So I got yeah, this is the, the sheriff or Harper, whatever, whatever, whatever he is, a cop. So that's pretty much it. So I'm looking to get that built, and this I think will go really nicely together with this brick mini kit that I also kind of pre-ordered from Brickizimo. This is the California Highway Patrol. You have these two motorcycles, so this is coming up, and I think this will go really nicely with the sheriff car. I'm really excited about that. So I picked up those things from eBay. Let's go ahead, maybe just put it aside for now. And maybe I will still build this minifigure. Pop it open really quickly. Let's see how long it's gonna take me. <laughs> Hopefully not that long. And let's see how he looks like. That was Stranger Things main character. Sheriff Harper. Cool Netflix series, by the way. Maybe get the my minifix stand. Yeah, what do you guys think? I think it's looking good. Nice minifix from Lego. All right. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the exciting stuff that I'm definitely looking forward to opening. And this is the Citizen Brick. Yeah. I kind of know what it is. And I was looking forward to getting this open. All right, just one thing. Actually, two things. So I got this. And I think I got the head. So what's inside the box? Let's check it out. We got the invoice. This is a pretty cool sticker. Citizen Brick. Yeah, the first thing I got is then this bloody head. I think this is pretty awesome. So it could be used maybe on some kind of mock, like injured soldier or something like that. So I got this right here, this guy. And yeah, something definitely I was looking forward to. Part of the premium collection minifigures and we got the real american check him out sorry about the glare yeah brother and you got this uh, this guitar right here too i wish i can open it without tearing the whole thi uh, thing open like with a clamshell but maybe i just go for it yeah i'm gonna go for it so this is in a way like unboxing and review how lucky you guys are is this the best way to do it? So I want to get this guy open. I check him out. I wish it was a bit of a clamshell, kind of like something like Brickmania does. We can just pop it open without tearing the whole thing off. But you know, yolo. This is my first Citizen Brick Mini fig. Actually, this is not my first, but the first one I opened. I do have still that zombie that I have in the, in the, in the package. But yeah, let's give it a go ahead and close look because this is something I was really looking forward to. Our Hulk Hogan, well, no, not officially. But yeah, this is something I was looking forward to. Your brother, 
comes with this awesome guitar with a printed American flag on it. Love it. And look at this hairpiece. I mean, does this come off? No, this is part of the head. I mean, this is like glued to it. This is so awesome. So torch is printed, the legs are printed. Let's check out the shirt. Oh, tanked up. Just says America, baby. America. Oh man, I love it. So yeah, this is awesome. Really happy I picked up this. This definitely goes on my display. Just another quick 360 on this. All right. That was a Citizen Brick minifigure. So we got that one unboxed and open. Kind of reviewed, I guess. But let's go ahead and get into the Brick Mania. Yeah. Love them Brick Mania holes. Let's see what I got. This one I can't remember too well. And sometimes I get a couple orders in and they just ship it as one. So let's see. Okay, so there's a box in the box. And a box. In case we got the invoice out. All right. So I guess there's two orders. And this is wrapped like a present or something. Kind of makes sense. This is holidays. <laughs> this is my like 20th Christmas present throughout the year. I'm not sure what I got here. Ah, yeah, no, this is nothing too crazy, too exciting. So this is just the track links. Yes, I did order this. I am looking to build additional kind of the tanks from the instructions that I purchased. I got the digital instructions for this BT5. I think I mentioned like quite a bunch of times by now. But yeah, definitely need the single white tracks for this. This is in black. So got those in here. And this one again will go. Let's see what we got here. So I think this is actually something I picked up on Black Friday. So this is pretty much my Black Friday haul. So let's get see what's in here. Yeah, so there's not a whole lot here, but a few things. So that's that. Get this out of the way. See what I got for them Black Friday. So yeah, I was not looking forward to get a whole lot, but they had some good, really good discounts on Black Friday. So this one, this one, this is the mystery pack on Brick Arms Volume 2. So this is supposed to have a golden, kind of like a weapon inside. This one I picked up for 50 off. So I'm, I can't remember exactly what I paid for, but it was definitely a, a good steal. So let's go ahead and pop that open first while we add it. See what we got there. What kind of weapon we got? Let's see. Get, get our maybe Hulk Maniac a weapon. I already see which golden one. So basically, you get this just bunch of break arms and they're all like different. I don't want to get into too much detail on this. I'm sure there's a bunch of views here made on those mystery packs. And this is not the first one they made. But basically you get like the various uh, colors and molds and like you get the shiny and see-through and glittery ones. Like this is the glittery one, which is pretty cool. But I mean, the, re the reason I picked this one up is then, well, you get the chrome one as well. Yeah, so this is the silver chrome, which is really nice too. And you got the pistol. Yeah, not the best lighting, but you know. And the reason, yeah, the, the biggest reason, at least the reason for me to pick up this pack was then to get this gold, gold plated, uh, like whatever custom gun that you get. This is random, so you, you, you're you not going to get the same one. And to me, this looks like uh, the gun, or is it this? I don't know, what the, which one is this? You guys, you guys tell me, is this Car 98? Definitely looks like one of the World War II weapons, right? One of the World War II long guns. So, but don't, don't know which one exactly. All right. So that's with this mystery pack. See what else I got. Let's get this one out of the way. I got this sticker pack. This one for this, um, this is for this AH6 Little Bird. And I, I was missing the stickers because I got the older version of Brickmania kit. So now I finally got those and I go ahead and I will apply them on the kit to make it look really nice. All right, and then I think the highlight of the whole thing is right over here. And yes, I know. So what we got here is this uh, World War II US Marine with a flamethrower operator. 
Okay, I did mention that this fig, to me, at least, and I think most people that in the community kind of were saying the same thing here, is that, um, actually, oh, I ordered also some Perfect Caliber. Where is that at? Hmm. Okay, I have to start looking for that. So I think I might have another pack for Brickizimo, actually, that put some anyway. ways. Now, going back to this minifigure. So what we have here, um, again, just then, it was just a little bit of consensus in the community that this could have been a bit overpriced, right? Originally, this figure was, I think, at, at least in Europe, it was about 57 euros, which is quite a lot for a minifigure. And to me, just way over the budget. But Brickizimo had it on sale, Black Friday sale, and I did pick it up for 40-something. I think it was like 43 or 44 euros and to me yes i feel like still a lot for the minifigure but then just with a discount i kind of couldn't say no so i got that one on black friday so let's go ahead and have them set up you know guys i like doing my unboxing holes together with my minifigure reviews i guess at the same time and let's check out the flamethrower right so you got this like Kind of like a backpack set up going. We got this little hose piece. We got the nicely done actually, nicely printed, um, I think 3D printed flames. And then we have the rest of the flamethrower. So let's go ahead and get this one somehow built. Let's see how it looks like. Yeah, so this one goes in here. So yeah, this has got assembled. This is what it looks like. Let's go ahead and put this little harness or whatever backpack on the minifig torso. Put his head on top. All right, so it's all done, finally. <laughs> Five minutes into putting this together, but it's all done. Let's go ahead and give it a closer look. Get my stand out, put them up. How's that looking? Is that close enough? All right, now it should be all set up. So this is how the fig looks like. I'm not gonna lie to you, the price is really steep, but the fig looks really nice. Give it a 360, as you can see the legs are printed and the print shop is nice. The detail is really good. And we got this flamethrower piece. And then they got the flame themselves. Let's go ahead and try to see the face a little closer. And the helmet. Go ahead and take the head off. See what's under the head. Nothing. Interesting. No BKM, nothing. Huh. Okay, yeah, this is basically the fig. Really cool, very nice. To me, very expensive, right? Again, you be the judge if it's overpriced or not. I mean, again, if there's market for it, people buying it, then maybe it's fine. But one thing I can say for sure, this is expensive minifigure. But just for comparison purposes and for fun, I did recently also pick up from Brookizimo another flamethrower minifigure from World War II, and this is by United Brick. So let's go ahead maybe and give it a little bit of space. And this is what it looks like, right? This is the dude, flamethrower dude. Also has a backpack. Again, not the same backpack as the one that Brickmania came up with. We do have a little bit of this Lego piece in there that goes on the neck. But overall, but anyway, just for comparison purposes, this right here, this was a 16 euro minifigure, 16 or 17 by United Brick. Again, of course, I know the print shop is not that the par, and then the flamethrower looks kind of a bit funky. And you get this Lego flame, not this custom made 3D printed flame. But if you want to just kind of check it out, that uh, you get two figs, custom figs, and one is what, 50 something dollars. I can't remember exactly, let's say 55, and the one is 16. So this is about three or even four times as expensive. So anyways, you be the judge. Again, if there's a demand for it, then maybe the price is good. 
But yes, uh, go ahead and give you 360 on this one last time. But yeah, go ahead and let me in the comments what you guys think about this minifigure. I mean, you can tell me whatever, just any comments you like. So go ahead and move on. Um, so that's pretty much it with this box. But I did find another box that I was kind of missing. So there was another package and yeah, I'm trying to rip off basically the, the address part. And this is what it looks like, like, like it's open, but I actually haven't opened it yet. So let's go ahead and pop it open right here. Just gonna tear it off because it's an envelope. And this is exactly what I was waiting for, yes. All right, so we've got a few things here. Let's go ahead and give it a closer look. Get the invoice out. All right. This is again, more, more heavy minifig hole. But yeah, this is the Marquise de Lafayette. Let's go ahead and pop him open and give a closer look at him. A very nice fig, nicely printed. I do like how they made him and I do like his face expression. Face expression is really nice here. To me, I thought maybe, you know, this could play. Anyways, the idea is here is if I want to build up a little bit of like a Napoleon era French army, I feel like this dude, because he was French originally, kind of can work as Napoleon. I don't know, you guys let me know what you think. Can he, can he pull off a Napoleon? But I was thinking, have this dude as a Napoleon and having like the French troops and stuff. Um, I Now moving to the this thick right here. This is the Revolutionary War British red coat. Let's go ahead and pop him open too. This is an old figure. This was a restock by Brickmania. However, I do have the American figure, which is this blue and white. And now I had the red coat. So finally got that one in my collection. I'm really happy about it to get also the brick. Very similar, by the way. I think the print job is very similar, except this is again, red coat, British. And of course, then something I was definitely looking forward to. A bunch of freebies, yeah. Uh, Bookism also has a bunch of freebies right over here. Got this pack. I'm not gonna go ahead and unbox it, but yeah, I was definitely looking forward to those. Perfect caliber, flintlock, musket, and a pistol. So let's go ahead and Get those out of the box or out of the back. Go ahead and give our buddy here a pistol. I don't know, uh, some reason I want him to be a Napoleon. <laughs> so this is, anyways, my next hole actually, which is gonna be quite small as well. I picked up more Napoleon era figs and I wanna kind of build up a little bit of that army. But yeah, you guys let me know what you think about this Napoleon era wars. Do you like them? Yeah, so we've got the flink lock. Musket, perfect caliber, and when I want to use those four, of course, then one would go to the British red coat. But yeah, going back to the K Town fix that I have, definitely want to replace this Lego musket for this really detailed Brickmania one. So, this is what I want them to look like. So, what do you guys think? I think this looks pretty awesome. So definitely, definitely happy about those. All right. I think that's pretty much covers the whole. I hope I didn't miss anything. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, any comments, please go ahead and leave them under the video. I'm looking forward to talking to you guys. Thank you for watching and bye for now.